the main event. Two fighters will make their long-awaited return to the octagon this weekend. Not only is there big money on the line, but there's also a big push to unionize mixed martial arts fighters. Jane Wells is in Las Vegas getting ready to rumble. The fight's not till Saturday, but no one told the fighters. Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz will face off in the octagon in a UFC rematch, which could be the biggest fight of the year. And there's not even a title on the line. It's also a test of the league's new owners, talent agency WME IMG, which bought the UFC for a whopping $4 billion this summer, a record for a sports franchise, which McGregor takes credit for. You know, you've got to understand that I had a big role in that price tag, um, so. My contract is very, very sweet. Conor McGregor's demeanor this week was at times far quieter than last March. <laughs> Take a coffee break, Nate. And by coffee oh, break, I mean bring no. me my coffee. Back then, he was brash until Nate Diaz beat the odds and McGregor. That stunning defeat by one of the UFC's biggest names touched off a tempestuous summer where Conor McGregor quit the UFC. Then he came back. Then he was pulled from a rematch in July and now the bottle throwing incident. But the UFC's new owners may have another thing to worry about. A veteran sports agent wants to unionize the fighters. You're talking about one employer, the UFC, that has 600 or so employees. And they tell them when to fight, who to fight, what to wear when they fight. So absolutely, there should be a union relationship here with the employer. We would like to have like insurance, 401k, all that stuff. You know? But I have no dental, I'd like dental. They may end up with a very big name in their corner. If it is presented correctly to me, maybe I will help uh, spearhead something like that. But right now, I'm focused on the McGregor business, and that is UFC 202 this Saturday. Saturday's rematch is being called Bad Blood. The new owners who paid billions for the USC also hope it's a good bet. For Nightly Business Report, Jane Wells, Las Vegas.